Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video, we're going to learn how to solve equations that contain fractions. This is example number one on the website, and for example number one, we start out pretty simple. We have one fraction, which is three-fourths, times the quantity x plus three equals nine. Now in this example, I've color-coded it for you to show you that on the left-hand side, we have just one term, 3 fourths times the quantity x plus 3. This is all one term because there's no plus or minus sign separating terms. Now you might say, oh, but there is a plus sign, and there is. However, it's contained in parentheses, and if a plus or minus sign is contained in parentheses, then it's not considered a separate term, okay, because this is 3 fourths times the quantity x plus 3. So there's no plus or minus sign on the, si on the left side separating terms. So we only have one term on the left and then of course we have the answer on the right. Now if we were to distribute 3 fourths throughout the parentheses we would end up with 9 or 3 fourths x plus 9 fourths. That's going to give us two fractions. So we don't want to distribute. What we want to do whenever we're working with equations that have fractions is we want to get rid of the fraction first. If we get rid of the fraction, then we can solve it using all of the skills that we already know. Now the way in which to get rid of a fraction is to take a look at the denominator. The denominator in this case is four. If I multiply everything or all terms by four, then I will be able to get rid of the fraction. So on the left hand side, I'm going to multiply by four, but I also have to multiply by four on the right hand side, because remember that whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. And in this case, if we multiply one term by four, we have to multiply all terms by four. So the beauty of multiplying by the denominator is that we can easily simplify because if you have the same number in the numerator and the denominator they always simplify to 1. So 4 divided by 4 is 1 and then 1 times 3 is 3 so we're left with basically what's in the denominator. Now if that confuses you you can always multiply straight across. 4 times 3 is 12 and I'll show you here that it works and 1 times 4 is 4, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So again, the simple way to remember this is that if you have the same number in the numerator and the denominator, they simply cancel out. They simplify to 1. Okay? So we have 3 left, and then we have to keep the quantity x plus 3 in parentheses. And then on the right-hand side, we have 9 times 4, which is 36. So we have been able to eliminate the fraction, and now we're down to a simple equation that we'll just have to distribute and solve. So now we need to distribute. We know that 3 times x plus 3, we're going to distribute the 3. So 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 3 is 9, and that equals 36. So now I'm down to a very simple two-step equation. So now I'm going to bring down the left-hand side, so 3x plus 9, and I know that I first need to get rid of the constant, which is 9, and since it's plus 9, I know that the opposite is to subtract 9. So I'm going to subtract 9 on both sides of the equation, and when I do that, I know that 9 minus 9 is 0. So that time able to eliminate the 9, and I'm left with 3x equals 36 minus 9 is going to give us 27. Now I have 3x equals 27, and I know that I just need to divide by 3 on both sides of the equation, and I end up with x equals 9. So now, if you want to check, it's always a great idea to go back and check your answer. 
and you just go back into the original problem and substitute 9 for x. So I have 3 fourths times, I'm going to put 9 in for x, so 9 plus 3, this should end up equaling 9. So this is 3 fourths times 9 plus 3 is 12 equals 9. And I know that 3 times 12 is 36. And so 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. So it works. Okay? So again, this was just a check to make sure that your answer is correct. Okay? So again, the first thing that you do when you want to solve any equation that has fractions is get rid of the fractions. If you only have one fraction, you simply multiply every term by the denominator. That will get rid of it immediately. And then you can just continue solving. Okay? Great job.